Hi everyone, welcome back again to this FFT tutorial. In this video, we'll study about denoising the signal. In the last lecture, we talked about FFT of a given normalized tone, which consists of a pure sinusoidal signal of uh, 5, 5 kilohertz and, and a noisy signal of 25 kilohertz. So this is FFT spectrum we got in the last class. Now we want to remove the this 25k tone. Okay. So to do so, let's understand what does this tone means. What is this amplitude? It is basically the power of each frequency bin. So if we can reduce this power, the strength of this signal to zero, we are able to remove the noisy signal from it. So for that, we need to decide how many points does each frequency contain. Okay. So for that, the first step is to finding out the number of points per frequency. Okay. So for that, we use the function called len, len x of f. x of f, it will give us the length of frequencies, the total length of frequencies. When we divide this by basically Nyquist frequency, sampling frequency divided by 2 is the Nyquist frequency. So this gives us the number of points per frequency. Now, as we get the number of points per frequency, Let's say the number of points per frequency is x. Now, if we multiply the number of points per frequency with the frequency we want to remove, then we reach at this frequency finally, right? So, the number of points per frequency you can see here. And if you multiply with this by the intended frequency, intended frequency to be removed, our target frequency is the 25 kilohertz. So, multiply this by 25 kilohertz, that will give us the index point so basically target index is 25k so we scaled this 1 hertz frequency till 25 kilohertz frequency the next step is remove the power from it there is a function this y of f so let's understand this function a little detail so what does this target minus 1 and target plus 2 is? so let's say target frequency is 25k so this target minus 1 implies we go one frequency less which is 24 kilohertz and target plus 2 implies we go target plus 2 that, that is 27 kilohertz and this function y of f and the target or i will better write in this way x is to y so this frequency e equals to 0 so this function will reduce the power right from x up to y to zero okay so it for this range of the frequency becomes zero so if we remove the frequency power of frequency ranging from x to y to zero then we can eventually remove the frequency at 25k as well right and that's how denoise the signal from the given the given spectrum so let's look to the code once again so what does this target index minus one means 25k minus one and then target index plus to 27k now this right from 24 till 25 this this strength of each signal its frequency tone becomes zero and that's how we remove the noisy signal from the given spectrum the next step is plotting the signal so to plot we can use the function plot uh, which we have used in the previous lecture so let's just copy and paste it here so let's give it on and see this frequency spectrum once again so as we can see there is no tone there is no amplitude at frequency 25k so the signal is lost the noisy signal is removed from from the given spectrum and this is the way we can denoise the signal from this frequency spectrum so that's all about the fft spec fft analysis as a whole hope you found this video insightful stay connected for more videos thank you for watching have a nice day